Getting used to the function language is probably where you will spend most of your time when learning functions. Uh, this model right here, function name of input equals output, is the basic model. And in our default case, the function is named f, just because function starts with an f, so why not? Our input variable is x, and our default output variable is y. So we would read this f of x is y. When we are evaluating a function, we can see that this model is followed. Stop distance is the function name. 40 is my input, or my x, if I'm thinking of my inputs as x's and my outputs as y's. It can be helpful to use this default designation, even though a lot of times we have input and output variables with different letters. If our input is 40, then this is asking us what is the output. So we're going to look at the table, right? and say, what is the y value corresponding to an x value of 40? Well, that is 173. This one's pretty easy to understand because we don't have any of the same numbers showing up as inputs and outputs. So even if we were just guessing wildly, we would probably get it correct. It gets a little bit more important to understand the language well when we're working with an abstract function where the x values and the y values are largely the same numbers and the function itself doesn't necessarily have a meaning. So this is saying that the function stop distance with the input 40 gives us the output 173. Looking at this next example, this time what is implied by having an x here is that we don't know what x is, but we do know that y is 454. So what we're doing now is looking for an ordered pair that has a y value of 454. We find one here, and we would say that x in this case is 70, or a speed of 70 miles per hour in this case would correspond to a stopping distance of 454 feet. So our basic model here is important. f of x equals y, and we want to remember that even though this notation looks similar to multiplication, this is not saying f times x. It is not multiplication. And even though people often think they know that, the kinds of errors that come up often are, without a student realizing it, misinterpreting this language as being multiplication. It is not. f is the name of a function. x is the input variable. We are applying the function f to the input x to get the output y. There may be multiplication going on somewhere depending on what f does, but that relationship between f and x is definitely not multiplication. If our function is defined by a graph, like we see here, this is the same four, four or five, rather, five ordered pairs that we were just looking at in a table, but they are graphed and connected, uh, we can still follow the idea that stop distance is the function name, 55 is the input x, and what we are interested in finding is the y value or the output. So I'm going to estimate 55 over here on the x-axis, find a point on the graph, and then it looks like that is very close to 300. So I'll estimate the output from the graph here. And it looks like a stop distance from 55 miles per hour is going to be 300 feet under whatever the conditions are assumed to be for this table of data.